Bonjour, personnes. <laughs> Je suis Jody. Nick <laughs> is here. C'est Jean Mappel. Jean Mappel, Nick. <laughs> there you go. Nicolas. I don't know how to say reacting, but aujourd'hui, reacting. <laughs> the French are really lazy. Reacting. <laughs> reacting. This has been a video that's been requested many, many times, and for whatever reason, don't know why. Haven't reacted to it yet, but here we are here. <laughs> but we are here, finally <laughs> reacting to it, even though we cannot talk properly. Jody's got the, the garb. Is that the correct word? On? I don't know. Je ne sais pas. And it's kind of funny because we reacted to a different Mickey Flanagan video just a few minutes ago. We? Not sure if it's on the channel or not about him having a conversation with Alan Carr about a DVD where he went to France and recorded himself bicycling or something like that. And she's like, I should have my beret. And then here we are, the very next video, French, baby. Now, we went to France, so we can say we have been there. Can't say we've really done that because we are only there for 24 hours or so. And I did not wear a French beret the end, and at all during the entire trip. Didn't even bring it with us. You even had the black and white stripes. Like, is that like a really um, like a thing like the French yeah. wear? Like no, we were there. Stripes? We didn't see it. It's just like a whole like um, stereotype. Did that come from movies or yeah. I don't know. Maybe the like original a sailor type know. thing. Maybe I don't know. I would think like even nothing more than like we see that like at the in Las Vegas like the the Venetian. The Venetian. Like, that's the Italy. That's so, Italy. Yeah. yeah, that's Venice. Anyways. So we're excited to check this out to see what he has to say. Um, you know, it's all in good fun. Don't take it personally from France. I'm sure you're a fantastic person. Um, because people would say the Americans are really lazy. Oh, they do. They say a lot of stuff about us. And you know you say a lot of stuff about <laughs> yes. us. Yes. But we're going to check this out. If you like our reaction, anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. You know, it's funny because... J'aime boring reviews. There are lots of people that, like, they'll say, oh, don't worry about being, you know, your country being made fun of this or that. But if you were to say anything about someone else's country, it's like a different story. Oh, like, my gosh. Everyone has that natural pride for where yes. they come from. Yep. But it's just funny how it's like, oh, don't be sensitive. What you say? Yep. <laughs> it's yep. like, uh, I'm confused. It's like the whole, I can make fun of my family, but you can't say a word about them. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't you dare. Here we go. Be the very, very intelligent people. They phone you up and they go, Hi, Mick. They say, What are you doing? And I say, Cool. <laughs> and say, Really? They say, What do you want to do, man? We can help you do whatever you want to do. So I said, Actually, I'm going cycling with my mate around France. So they said, Oh, can we come and film it? I said, Get your checkbook out. Look lively. <laughs> right, so basically, they paid me <laughs> to follow me around France. <laughs> I'd never been to France before. I don't know if you've been. I'd heard a lot about it. Like most reasonable people, I'd pushed on <laughs> to Spain. I've never been there. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in France. I'd heard a lot about these people, that they were lazy and they didn't like us. And then I went there. They are fucking lazy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to do anything. They're just walking about. <laughs> We have been open for an hour, monsieur. We are so tired in this shop. We are so tired. <laughs> I've worked out why they eat snails. It's the only nope. thing they can catch. <laughs> oh, Jean-Pierre. This one is getting away. <laughs> you may be on heat. <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> to accommodate the French way of life. I tried to get laid back. I tried to accept vive la France, they call it. So I've just about done it. And then on one of the last nights, we were going to go to the restaurant, but it's up past six. The chef's probably gone home. <laughs> so we ordered in pizzas, right? We ordered pizzas. Fantastic. The pizzas turn up. On the pizzas, there's no olives. Price. We bite into the pizzas, and the olives have still got stones in. I thought, you dirty, filthy, <laughs> affair having, all strangling c***s, you absolute c***s. <laughs> what sort of a race of people? 
makes a pizza. <laughs> and then look, they have the stones in f them, throw them on. <laughs> I am not a slave. F I should be getting over this shit, shouldn't I? <laughs> fucking French. That's how I see, I see France now, I just go fucking France! <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Are you out or were you out? Oh, God. I have to say, that was funny, but I'm grateful we did not experience anything like that. The French were super no, no. nice, super nice. Um, I'm Again, we were there for 24, 24 hours, hours, and I'm not trying to promote that they aren't nice, but yes, our experience was very pleasant. I think it helps, too, that we tried to speak French. Like, I think that helped. They were very... Yeah, I mean, I don't speak I don't French, so she tried. She's been learning it on um, Duolingo. Yeah, it really, it's just a practice app for students, so you're supposed to learn, like, in school, and then that's, like, the practice, but... I've been learning on there and doing my thing. Yeah, and then I was disappointed because you were terrified to like so try crazy. it. I'm like, Jody, you've been doing this for like seven, eight months, a year or something. <laughs> Go ahead and, sh and she did pretty good. She was showing this or that, but she was so nervous to try. I was so afraid of like the accent, but you even ordered the check. You asked for the check. You did great. Yeah, but you got to prep me for it. And then she's like, oh, yes. The waitress we had was very, very nice. So the sweet. hotel staff that we stayed at was very, so very amazing. nice. Very accommodating because so I kind. don't know what we asked for. We asked for a few things. Yeah. Um, they were very, very good with that. Very, very pleasant. Um, the different, like we went to a, uh, a bakery, a bed, bread a, bakery. Yes. A, bourgeois, oh, a bourgeoisie, something like that. I can't remember now. But I did order that. They, they were whole, really busy, but they were really nice. And I ordered our whole thing in French, so that was pretty cool. Ooh, watch Cause, out. Yeah, because that's when I was feeling a little more comfortable. We went to like a candy shop to buy the kids. And like everyone mm -hmm. was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very pleasant for us. It was. Um, even like the taxi drivers. One of the, tax, one of the taxi drivers wasn't from France, but he was still very pleasant. Um, I mean, not like over Joel. I, no. Let me correct. On this one guy, he actually was kind of a little grumpy, but he would answer our questions. Well, I think once I started speaking to him more in French, then he started... Like, well, originally, he Maybe just wasn't he was talking. French. He was. They both were French, but he said... confused with the guy that was in Scotland. Yes. He said he spoke zero English, which was fine, because I... But I was just nervous, because it was our very first time there, so we took the taxi to a couple places before we started walking everywhere, because we wanted to make sure we hit a few areas in the short Eiffel time that Tower. we had. Yep. Yeah, and so... Um, so he... The one guy took us, and he didn't speak any French, so I was trying to, or he didn't speak any English, so I was trying to speak French, but I was really, really nervous because it's my first time, like, to actually talking to something like that. But then once we started, yeah. You were yeah, nervous for your first time? Shut up. Shut up. But once we started. <laughs> I was very excited my first time. <laughs> I was actually very nervous. Anyway, beyond oh, that. Oh, my. Beyond that. Um, beyond that though, but no, it worked really well. Um, the people were really nice, at, but anyway, we're just going to end it there because now I can't think about anything else. <laughs> if you, and, and you're no, the inland person on, this time. On, you're the inland. I always am. But it, it was a good experience. I was, I wanted to get a little more, right? Because he spent some considerable amount of time bicycling. And maybe there wasn't a lot of like seeing the sights and just well, and recording and work and this or that. He had never been there before. He said he's not like that kind of a person either to go see all this stuff. He just wants to eat, bring his book, relax. Right. It's crazy that we had just reacted to him talking about this on a Literally different... Literally the Our very first time ever reacting to an video. Alan Carr show thing and it, it just popped up after another video that we reacted to. We said, hey, let's check this out. It's Mickey Flanagan. That's all I needed to hear. So we, we checked it out. I've never heard of... A, all of them still with the stones in it before, so that's pretty messed up. Oh no, you I've if we get the we don't get the green olives too many times, but whenever no. I do it still has the stone in it and you just have to take it out. Even green olives, like I, again, this is a you can get we change them things up. We get black get olives hidden. on there and they're sliced and diced or whatever. Um they must just you think they just put like the whole olive on there? Like just boom, put olives on there? Maybe or they sliced it, but it's almost like you slice an avocado and you just put it on there and leave the seat's still in right i don't know but if you're french and you're watching this video you gotta be thinking hey we're not that bad because that was the only thing he complained about him sure. with us besides like walking around in the snails thing like that's so messed up wait but, till he does america what does he have to say about us well we've already heard like oh they're excited about everything everything's awesome everything. but this was funny as always if you liked our reaction to it please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe let us know what you want us to react to next time and until next time goodbye
No, no, no. Bonne journée. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bonne nuit. <laughs>